it's an issue, but maybe personally. Um, I don't know. I don't think any of us in the band are religious in, you know, Christianity sense or, um, you know, whatever we were raised up on. Uh, I just wanted to say happy holidays and uh, happy new year to everybody. And I'd also like to thank everybody that came out to see us on our last tour. And, uh, I don't know, we hope to see you in uh, 2007. Uh, that green gentleman, a few days or maybe a week after that, and sort of felt right and that we were on onto something. Just was very uh, strained on on that idea, so we just uh, decided to start clean. If, you know, it's basically a, a little fairy tale of uh, sort of this strange world that I was trying to to figure out. I guess in theory of it being a storyline, yeah, but uh, it didn't sound like. It wasn't rock at all. There was hardly any guitar or drums even. You know, we've gotten obviously closer and so we know each other more and kind of know, know what uh, each other are thinking about that stuff. Um, and then some of the stuff is still written by me that he sings. But he also has a few songs on this album that are his own. So I think we both enjoy that a little bit, you know, just being able to sing your own song is kind of cool. For me, uh, I let the lyrics dictate a little bit too much um, what the melody was. So I think that paying more attention to melody this time has improved. We changed it from what it originally was on the demo, but I think that maybe the original way we had it the same as the way he sings it the first time. It was fun. Acting's really hard. I see why there's a reason that actors are actors and not musicians most of the time. Sort of. I wake up and I have to climb this ladder and I'm climbing up to hit the alarm on the top of this clock. And uh, it's like 15 feet tall. So once I get to the top, I hit it, and then I'm basically like in like another world. This is pretty weird. Playing, we're all wearing pajamas, like the sun's shining, and there's all these girls in bonnets with mustaches. Okay, turn here. The video for 9 in the afternoon, we worked with Shane Drake again. Once we came down from the mountain <laughs> and back here uh, and started writing songs kind of separately and together and just everywhere, it took a lot of the pressure off and just became more fun. I feel like we didn't really know what we wanted it to sound like, so we weren't that excited to start because we we were kind of unsure of you know what we wanted to do, so that was definitely I think in the back of my mind at least. I think it just it took a lot more of a, a traditional approach to the songwriting, just trying to get a more um, organic sound that had more character than our last record did. The environment you would really think you'd be creative in, but um, once we got in there and. Uh, got set up and kind of just made it our own thing, then it was fine, you know, you never thought you were in a hotel anymore. Even so far as when you go to pick up the guitar, you play at a different tempo, or you play different chords than you used to. And so I think a lot of songs just started from that, you know, you're influenced by whatever you're hearing, and it was never like a specific song, but it was just kind of like, you know, listening to music for a few years that was different. We did a lot of new stuff in the studio this time. Played some harmonica. I mean, I thought Fall Out Boy was uh, one of our favorite bands uh, at the time, and um, hearing that that he was starting a new label, we thought that that would be a great idea um, to try to get signed by, mm -hmm. you know, a band or uh, a label that was brand new that didn't yeah. have any bands. Okay. <laughs>